whatever is revealing itself in the world right now, it does kind of make me feel kind of very hyper vigilant. I do not really trust any sources. Uh, I've shared some alternative sources with you guys and like some people have like stopped following me because of it. But listen, I'm just going based on my gut. I don't really believe in any one thing, you know, I do wear a mask where I have to, like, it's not a problem for me. I think, to be honest, that all of these kind of waves that we're going through, um, I think we're, we're facing much bigger shit as a collective humanity than kind of like these noisy things on the surface. So um, I suggest if you feel called to, just like do your research, stay really, really informed. Um, I've definitely this summer felt like a very big practical surge where I felt the call to start growing my own food, figure out ways to kind of be like off the grid, to be self-sustainable more and more. Um, a lot of the things that I use are solar powered. A lot of my lights, I mean, right now they're more like fun lights, but um, kind of going more into like the solar power territory, my own water, my own food. Um, so that if needed, I could kind of like live off the grid and be self-sustained. I also definitely, I have to say, I've changed my views on stuff radically the past six months. Things that I used to make fun of when I kind of was more of like a part of the problem, uh, like more of like a blitzed out pop star embodiment. Um, I was like gun control. Now I'm like, no, 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 no. Like... You hold on to your gun out there. Uh, definitely working on that myself. It's in my future plans to get a gun permit. And um, basically become like a big hick over here. But no, not really. I know there's like a lot of noise and a lot of pain going on in America. So like I don't really want to comment on those things. All I want to say is stay like hyper vigilant and and stay attentive and do your research and make your own decisions even if it feels like nobody else shares uh those views it doesn't matter it's a weird time right now like it's all collapsing like all these forms all these identities are collapsing so and most importantly my babies most importantly and I found myself thinking this this summer too, where I was like, oh, there's this saying, beauty saves the world or beauty will save the world. I started feeling it so deeply. I was like, oh, you know what? If I can just like be here and like garden and like make art and give a lot of people, um, you know, in my life, the craziest amount of love that I can give. Uh, I think this is... Uh, the most important thing i don't want to say keep your vibration high because if you're kind of going through the shadow work then don't keep the vibration high you know just be present it's not about like that toxic positivity but like i'd say keep your vibration true if uh, there are ways that you can kind of like unite with the source and like unite with your true self like find those moments and uh stay in love as much as possible and definitely as much as possible unless again you're doing the shadow work with that stay out of fear that's all that's all let me know your opinions in the comments let me know what you're going through uh i would love to just keep building this community bigger stronger more informed more connected and uh i apologize for the times where i kind of like disappear but i need those times for my art and for my own growth so so you know i'm like up to something when i'm gone so i can kind of like come back and share with you something beautiful or or share with you some new thoughts so love you babies Mwah. Integrity, love, unity.